Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be making the board itself. Without further ado, let's begin. Alright, let's begin from last video. So we've made all the pieces, it's all done. So now, how are we going to make a board? So, technically, uh, first we're, we're probably going to need to find a proper scale for our tiles. I, I'd say uh, about one meter, uh, one meter for now, like one block right here, one block. So let's add a cube first, okay? So we want to make it eight by eight. So let's scale it, scale it by four. So as you can see, it's now eight by eight. Now let's scale it down on the Z a little bit. Okay, let's scale it down on the Z and this should be good. So now, all we have to do is add a new material and then the the thing that you might do as a beginner is loop cut or like subdivide and try to assign it. When I started, I literally uh, just added a bunch of planes and put it, put it together. Uh, I think the best way is just to use the checkerboard uh, texture right here the checker the checker checker texture right here you can just click on this yellow dot on the base color and you can find it right here as you can see it's going to be like that the cool thing is that you can change the colors and stuff you want a red yeah you can have red but now we're going to keep it at the good old black okay now the scale isn't right right now there is five tiles by five tiles so you can just change the scale right here to like eight and there we go boom it's all good okay i want to lower the roughness for this a little bit so that it's more glossy okay so now you can delete this since we're not going to use it anymore and let's start aligning the pieces so first let's uh, select all this rotate it on the z by 90 degrees I'm gonna have the full horse facing forward, so let's rotate this by 90 degrees forward. Okay, let's uh, select these again. Okay. Okay, let, now let's move it over here. Around here. It's not gonna align up properly yet, but we'll put it there. Okay. So, the king would be right here. And the queen would be right here. So the king in the white spot. Right here, white spot, and the queen on the black spot. And the bishop, the bishop would be on the sides. So um, let's put it right here. G, right here. Duplicate, move it over here. And the knight will be right here. Duplicate, what? And then the rook, you can move it over here. And the pawn would be at the front, so like around here, okay. So now for the pawn, you can just start duplicating them. Duplicate. Select these two. Duplicate Y. Okay, perfect. So for the for the white pieces we can just select all of them and then just literally just duplicate it. <laughs> 50 move it over here. Rotate it on the Z by 180 degrees. So now it's the other way around. But something's wrong here. As you can see, uh the king is supposed to be directly, it's not supposed to be kind of like diagonally on the side. So we need to switch the king and the queen. So let's move it over here a little bit first so we can move the queen over here and move the king. Okay, perfect. So let's change the color of the white wait of the black pieces to change it to the white. Okay, so so right here you can select the king or something and then you're gonna click on this two pieces of paper it's gonna make a new material with this so if we click like this it'll make a new material 
and you can change it. So we're gonna set it to white with the same glossy and specular and stuff. Okay. Then now we can select the rest of them, select the rest of them, and make sure the king is the main object, the main selected object. You can, if you're not sure, you can select it last or something. Make sure the, the outline of the selection is brighter orange than the other ones. Then you're gonna click control, you're gonna not click, type. Is that right? Press, press, okay, press control L, materials, and it will do that. So it seems like the, these two weren't, weren't selected. So let's do this, control L, materials. Okay, that's pretty nice. So I feel like the pieces are going into it. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's in, inside. So let's move it down a little bit. Okay. Pretty good. So now let's press A and move it up. Now we're going to make like the wooden piece of the board. Shift A, let's add a cube. Okay, let's move it up. Scale it, Shift C. Okay, and now we're going to bevel the edge to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so uh, control A, apply scale so that the bevel is kind of the right, it's not dis de deformed or something. So right here, uh, everything should be selected and then you can just press control B and it'll be bevel the edge, you can increase the amount. Uh, this much is good I think, I mean, maybe lower it. If you want it to be a little sharp, then you can shade smooth, and that's nice. So you can also duplicate this thing, and we're gonna make the legs of the table. I'm not sure if that phrasing is correct. So you can just duplicate it and scale it, shift Z. Now, I'm not sure if this affects, oh, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna add another cube to make the legs of the table. So let's get, uh, add them, bring it down, scale it, shift C. Go to top view, uh, actually bottom view. <laughs> okay, make sure it's selected. And let's move it to the side. And then we can apply the scale as usual, and then uh, be bevel it. Be then you can duplicate it to the X, like this. Duplicate it and move it to the Y, and the Y to the other side. So there we go, we got all the legs. If you think it's too tall, then you can bring it down a little bit, it should be good. And now, uh, what I did was I joined these. So let's do that, Control J, and let's add the material. Now right here, you can use any PBR material you have. Uh, I get my textures from Polyhaven, so you can press Control Shift T and a window should pop up. You might not see it in this screen since I'm... You might not see it in this screen, but uh, in the tutorial. You might not see it in the tutorial, but you you probably see it in yours. But if it doesn't appear, it's probably because you ha don't have the Node Wrangler add-on turned on. So you can go to Edit, Preferences, and then Add-ons, and it should be there. So let's... I'm gonna select... Uh, wood table it's my go-to for wood <laughs> there we go now you can increase the scale a little bit if you if you like to do that it looks pretty nice I'd say okay there we go so uh, that should be it for this video so we're finally done with the chess series now, there might be another video covering the bishop and making that cut, but other than that, that is it. So, it's been pretty nice, so yeah. If you enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on other tutorials. Bye-bye.